And now, WTOL 11 Sports, sponsored by Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Toledo native and Rogers High alum Eric Knard looking to make it back to the Olympics for the second time, competing in the trials out in Eugene, Oregon. Here he is getting ready for the high jump, his first attempt at seven foot six, and he was the only competitor right here to clear that seven foot six mark, giving him a first place finish and a ticket to Rio. This will be Knard's second trip to the Olympics. He won silver in London back in 2012. It's the last tournament before the LPGA Tour makes its stop in Sylvania, the final round of the Women's U.S. Open in San Martin, California. Number one ranked in the world, Lydia Ko. She was atop the leaderboard heading into today's final round, but second shot on that par five ninth hole comes up short, and she would double bogey and drop back to five under. Anna Nordquist on the 15th drains the eagle putt to tie for the lead at six under with this girl right here, Brittany Lang, who sinks the birdie putt on the 13th. Here's Nordquist's penalty in the three playoff holes that they had. Lang ends up winning the U.S. Open Championship. And the wait is almost over. Join us all week for our coverage of the Marathon Classic. We'll have a live show on Wednesday at 7.30 and then next Sunday, July 17th. The final round of the tournament will be broadcast right here on WTOL 11. Tournament director Judd Silverman says he's looking forward to having Lydia Ko and Brooke Henderson, the number one and two ranked in the world golfers, coming to Highland Meadows. Brooke Henderson, to see where she's come in just one year has uh, just been incredible. You know, she had to try and Monday qualify for our tournament last year. Now, a year later, she's won three times, and she's ranked second in the world. That's how fast she's risen to the top. So um, we're just delighted to have her. Tigers looking to get the split in Toronto against the Blue Jays. Anibal Sanchez on the mound for Detroit. He had six strikeouts on the day in four innings of work, but he gave up five earned runs. Bottom of the second, two on, and Toronto's Josh Toley gets a two RBI single to right, and that would be enough. The Tigers' lone run came on this James McCann ground out in the fifth. Tigers get thumped six to one. Indians also looking for the split, but the Yankees have other plans. In the fifth, Mark Teixeira gets the RBI single up the middle, and that's all part of a six-run inning for New York. They lead the Tribe 11-1. to Indians looking to rally in the bottom of the inning. They score four before Tyler Naquin takes this one yard to right for a two-run home run. They trail by four, but that's where the rally ends. Indians fall 11-7. to Mudhens going for the clean sleep against Louisville. Down one in the first one-on-one -on -one out, and Casey McGee sends that one to the green and gets down, and Jones scores to tie the game. In the second, it's Arjenas Diaz. He gets the hit-and-run call, and he perfects it right there. That goes to right, and that brings home Jeff McVaney for the go-ahead run. And then in the third, Tyler Collins takes this one the opposite way, and it's gone. See you later. That three-run homer puts the hens up even more, and they end up beating the bats 8-5. to five. Over the past five Sundays, we've showed you stories of athletes who still like to compete no matter their age. Tonight, we finish our series with the Glass City Rollers, women in their 40s and even 50s loving roller derby. Dan Cummins has our Weekend Warriors. The Glass City Rollers are in their seventh year. Bouts, they're called, running summer and fall at the Skyway Rec Center off Star on the east side. Okay, a contact sport on wheels. What could possibly happen? But it's attracting mature athletes like 44-year-old Mother Nature, Dawn Cool, whose daughter's on the team. Uh, a lot of people are like, Grandma, who are they talking to? And then, I, of course, you know, I'm cheering. Yeah, I'm a grandma. Sean McNair is destruct Sean. She's 54. Instead of a midlife crisis, it was a midlife opportunity. When, after a bout, I'll have women my age come up to me and say, we came to watch you. Uh, and tell me that I've been an inspiration a little bit. That's, that's really nice to, to be an inspiration to someone. And Yolanda Sweeney, 51 years old, derby name Gunsmoke. Last year, fell, broke a cheekbone, had a concussion. She's back. Hey, roller derby to me is like football on wheels. The jammer to me is the running back and the blockers are your lines. 
Oh, and then there's 49-year-old Terry Green, or Mamrie Heartless, who said it best. It it's kind of strokes my ego. They're like, whoa, I could never do that. You're such a bad, you know. <laughs> now that's a weekend warrior. Dan Cummins, WTOL 11 Sports. Thanks, Dan. And that's it for sports. We'll have more on WTOL in just a bit. All right, Danielle, thanks so much. Well